Welcome back again in our math class. Uh, for today's lesson, we will learn about comparing numbers. And I am hoping that last or previous lesson, you you, you learn about numbers uh, 1 to 10, uh, counting forward and counting backward, or numbers in decreasing and numbers increasing, okay, ordering numbers. So today, we will compare numbers from 1 to 10 and uh, and uh, higher numbers they'll try uh, i'm very sorry if uh, previous video i speak so fast okay uh, i'm used to it so i'm very sorry for this time i will try my best to uh, lower or slower my uh, uh, speaking in english so again math genius and we will compare numbers we will decide if the numbers are larger or smaller, or maybe the numbers are equal or not equal. So let us compare numbers using the signs. So we will use this sign, equal sign. This is called equal sign. And this one is not equal, okay? Not equal. So there are six heads in set A. So this is set A and six heads in set B. So each head has a pair, green into green, yellow and yellow, white into white, blue and blue, red and red, black and black. Okay, so each head has a pair. So we say that six is equal to six. Or we write six and this, and then we use this equal sign because they are the same, they are equal. So six is equal to six. Now here, there are four bells in set C and set D has three bells. One bell in set C doesn't have a pair. So as you can see here, this bell has a pair. Another bell has a pair. Another bell has a pair. So the other bell in set C doesn't have a pair. So we say that four is not equal to three. Four, because there are four bells in set C, and there are three bells in set D. So four is not equal to three, or we write four is not equal, this is the symbol, four is not equal to three. Now note, or let us always remember, if the number of objects on both sides are the same, okay, the same, if the other number is six and the other number is six, so two numbers are equal. If the number of objects on both sides are not the same, for example, the other number is six and the other number is five, so they are not the same, that means they are not equal or the two numbers are not equal. So let us compare numbers using the signs, this sign, okay? A while ago, we learned about equal and not equal. So this time, we will use this sign. This sign is called greater than, okay? Greater than. And the other sign is called less than, okay? Greater than, and the other one is less than. Now, we know that four and three are not equal, okay? Four is not equal to three. Now look at the numbers in order. Here, you can see here, zero to number 10. Let's count. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now here, look at the number three and number four. Number three, comes before number four. 
three comes first. So we say that three is less than four, or we write three is less than four. So three and then this symbol and then four. Three is less than four. Or we can say that four comes after number three. After number, number three is four. So if four comes after number three, that means we can say that four is more than three, or we write four is, oh, I forgot to change this one. This one is wrong. It must be uh, greater than or more than. This is wrong, okay? This one is correct because this is less than. We cannot write less than in here, okay? So this answer is wrong. It must be in the other side. Now here, this boy named Pakin and the other girl is named Sokjan. So this boy is Pakin and this girl is Sokjan. Now here, Pakin says, I have seven balloons. And then Sokjan says, I have eight balloons. And then Sokjan said, eight is more than seven. I have more balloons than Pakin. Again, Sokjan says, eight is more than seven. I have more than balloons or more balloons than Pakin, that is Sokjan says. And here, Pakin says, seven is less than eight. I have less balloons than Sukjang. So we say that Sukjang has more balloons than Pakin. Why? Because Sukjang has a. And we can also say that Pakin has fewer balloons than Sukjang because Pakin has seven balloons. So fewer. Eight is more. Now here. Pakin says, now I have eight balloons. And then Sokjang says, eight is equal to eight. I have eight, the same number of balloons as Pakin. That means equal, okay? The same, equal. Now here, always remember that this symbol means equal to, okay? Equal to this symbol. And another symbol is not equal to. And then another symbol here. This symbol means less than. Okay? This symbol is less than. And the last symbol means more than. Okay, More than. Now, we have here the symbols. We have here the meaning. And then the example. And example in words now let's say for example this symbol this symbol has three meanings okay this symbol has three meanings the meanings are greater than more than and bigger than again this symbol has three meanings greater than more than and bigger than example six and two so this is the symbol because Six, in words, we say that six is greater than two, or six is more than two, or let's say six is bigger than two, okay? So we can use this meaning in this, if you will write in words. Now, this symbol, the second one, this symbol has three meanings too, the same in the first one. So this one, this symbol means less than, fewer than, and smaller than. Again, less than, fewer than, and smaller than. Look at here, the example. So this is the number two. So the symbol, because two is less than, so we can write this way, the symbol. Now, an example in words, we can read together. Two is less than six. Two is less than six, or two is fewer than six. Two is fewer than six, or another one. Two is smaller than six. Two is smaller than six. Okay.
Okay? So again, these symbols are greater than, more than, and bigger than. Another symbol is less than, fewer than, smaller than. Now here, the third one. The third one is equal to or same as. Again, this symbol means equal to or same as. So we write in example, seven is equal to seven. Seven is equal or same as seven. Or example in words, seven is equal to seven. Seven is equal to seven. Another example here, seven is the same as seven. Seven is the same as seven. Okay. Next, the last symbol that we will use. This symbol means not equal to. The first one here is equal to. Now, this symbol means not equal to. Just write the word not and then equal to. Or not same as. Not same as. Example, four is not equal to five. Four is not same as five. Or in, in words, we write this way. Four is not equal to five. Again, four is not equal to five. Or we say four is not the same as five. Four is not the same as five. Okay, it's very easy. Now here, we will fill in the boxes. We have two boxes here, letter A and letter B. Now we will fill in these boxes by this using this sign, okay? Using the sign, the equal sign and not equal sign. Now look at here in letter A. In letter A, we can see here four candies. Let's count one, two, three, four. So four candies. On the right side, there are three candies. One, two, three three candies so four and three that means equal or not equal which symbol this one equal or this symbol this is equal and this one is not equal now the correct answer here is not equal not the same means not equal okay don't forget now in letter b as you can see here there are five kinds of ball Okay, there are five kinds of ball. Now here, oh, the same, five kinds of ball. So that means because they are the same, so the correct answer here is equal to, okay? Very easy. Now here, in this, we will use the signs smaller than and greater than. And the same thing we will write inside the boxes. Now here, let us count. There are six apples. On the other side, there are five mangoes. So six and five. So what answer are we going to write inside the box? The correct answer is greater than, or let's say more than, okay? So apples are more than mangoes. Now in letter B, in letter B, there are four cats and five dogs, four and then five. So what signs are we going to write in here? Or what symbol are we going to write in here? The symbol that we will write here is uh, smaller than, or let's say fewer than, or let's say less than, okay? So, four is less than five. Now, this time, let us answer this one. What do you think is the answer in letter A? It's very easy. All you need to do is to tick the set that has more objects. Example, here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, one, two, three, four, five. So we can say that six is more than five. So more, take this one. 
this box. Now, in letter A, what, which do you think is more has more objects, banana or tomatoes? Now, the answer here is bananas. How about in letter B, sandwich or slice of pizza? Ah, sandwiches. Letter C, ice cream or candies? Ice cream. How about in letter D? It's a burger. How about in letter E? It's a cupcakes. Okay, cupcakes are more. Now here in number two, we will take the set that has fewer or set that has less or set that has smaller. As you can see here, slice of watermelon. So there are four. And here, the star fruits, there are six. So four is or fewer than six. So we tick in here. Now in letter A, what do you think has the fewer objects? Okay, very good. Battle of milk. And letter B, okay, all right. You get the correct answer. Now next, here, we will circle the greater number in each set. We will circle the greater number in each set. Now example, here, six and nine. Six is a greater number. So uh, nine is a greater number. So nine has is circled in here. Now letter A, which do you, where do you think is the greater number, eight or two? So the correct answer here is eight. In letter B, 10. Letter C, one or seven? Seven. Letter D, which number, uh, which is the greater number? The greater number here is eight. And in letter E, the greater number is nine. Letter F, the greater number is eight. Letter G, six. Letter H is six, the same, six. Now in number four, in number four, we will cross out the smaller number in each set. Example, three and five, three is the smaller number. So three is being crossed out in here. Now in letter A, where do you think is the smaller number? The smaller number here is zero. How about in letter B? It's number six. Number seven, two. Letter D, five. Letter E, one. Letter F, oh, zero. Letter G, four. Letter H, three or two. It's number two. Two is a smaller number compared to number three. Now here, we will use the sign equal and not equal. Now in number one, letter A, what do you think is the answer? Equal or not equal? The correct answer here is because these numbers are the same, so they are equal. How about in letter B? Nine and nine, the same, they are equal. Letter C, how about in letter C? Two and eight, not the same number, that means not equal. Six and one, not the same, not equal. Letter E, four and four, the same, means equal. Letter F, five and nine. Oh, not the same, so not equal. Letter G, not equal. Letter H, two and two. Oh, two and two are the same numbers, so equal. Now letter I, eight and seven. Eight and seven. So they are not the same, so means that not they are not equal. Now here, we will compare and write smaller than or greater than inside the boxes. Same in number one. Okay, number five. What do you think is the answer? Five is greater than. Letter B, it's smaller than. Letter C, greater than. 
greater than letter D, greater than letter E, fewer than letter F, fewer than letter G, greater than letter H, greater than letter I, greater than, okay, very easy, right? It's greater than. Now here, it's quite hard, but I know you can do it. Let's do it together. So we will circle the correct answer. So the number of butterflies in set A are fewer, okay? Fewer or less than or smaller than because set A here, there are only three butterflies. In set B, there are five butterflies. So in letter A, an example the answer here is fewer than. How about here? Set A, set A are fewer or more? So fewer or more? It's more because there are eight. So more than, more than. Letter B, set A has fewer or more? Ah, fewer because there are only two. Now letter C, set A and set B. The number of shells in set A are, ah, uh, okay, more than, okay, more than. Now here, you must know how to spell these words, less than, greater than, and equal to for you to answer these questions faster, okay, or fast. Now letter A, three is blank than five, less than, greater than, or equal to, three is less than. Letter B, seven and seven, the same number, equal to. Number nine, same number, equal to. Letter D, not the same. So what are we going to use? We must not use equal to. We will just choose from the two in here. Less than or greater than. So since two is smaller number, we will write here less than. How about number six? Number six is greater, so we will write here greater. Number four, the same number. The answer is equal to. Letter G, five and five equal to letter H, five and nine. Oh, five is smaller number, so we will write here less than. Number two, two is smaller number, so we will write here less than. Letter J, two and two, the same number. The answer is equal to. Letter K, oh, nine is greater number. Nine is greater number, so we write here greater than. And letter L, the correct answer here is greater than. Very easy. Now, I know that you can do it, right? Now, let's try a bigger number. Let's try a bigger number. Which number is smaller, 385 or 369? Again, 385 or 369. Mm, 385 and 369. Now, just compare the hundreds. In our previous lesson, we learned to compare numbers by using the place value. And we discussed the place value last lesson, right? So this is ones, this is tens, and this is hundreds. Again, ones, and then tens and hundreds. Now, three and three, huh? the same number, equal. So we cannot say that greater or smaller, bigger and smaller. Now, we will compare the tens place. So since hundreds place are the same, we will go to the tens place. So tens place are not equal. The first one has greater number because this is eight and the second number is smaller number because there is, this is six. So always remember 
when we compare numbers, start in hundreds place and then go to tens place. So we can say he, we can see in here that six tens is smaller than eight tens. So we can conclude that 369 is smaller than 385. Again, 369 is smaller than 385, or we will write by using the symbol this way. 369 is smaller than 385. Here, or we can say that 385 is greater than 369 greater than and we can use this symbol now let us try to answer it here let us fill in the boxes with signs greater than or smaller than okay example here three and three the same number so let's proceed to the tens place hundreds place are the same tens place four and eight four is smaller so we use this symbol now in letter A, what do you think is the answer? Eight and eight, the same. Nine and three. So number nine here is greater number. So we will use greater symbol or greater than symbol. Letter B, one and one, the same. Two and seven, two is smaller. Here letter C, four and four, the same. Eight and seven, so eight is greater here two and two the same three and seven three is smaller than seven so we use smaller than now here letter e six and seven so in hundreds place in here in letter e six is already smaller than seven so we don't need to go to the second uh, place value so here six is smaller than seven so the answer is smaller than in letter F, four and four, the same. Five and one, not the same. So five is greater than. Here, letter G, seven and seven. Six and zero, seven and seven, the same. So that means are equal. So six and zero, not the same. So six is greater than zero. Letter H, one and one, the same. Zero and nine, not the same. Zero is smaller than nine. Letter I, nine and eight. Okay, not the same. So we will look at here, the hundreds place. Nine is greater than eight. So that's why we use this symbol, okay? Greater than. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learn from me today. See you on the next video. Goodbye. See you.